So the students are attending what's called a reality fair. The idea is they're going to learn how to budget for a month. So they pre-selected careers that they were interested in or something that's similar to that and they're given an um, annual salary based on a national average and then it's broken down by month and then they're given their net salary after taxes. And then they go to all of these booths and it's their job to find a place to live, decide if they're gonna have an apartment or a house, um, get insurance, transportation, a clothing allowance, food, everything that they would have to pay for in a month and see if they can come in under budget. Um, in addition to all of those basic things, they also go to what's called the wheel of reality or the wheel of chance. They spin that wheel and something happens that might be a good thing for them that month or more than likely it's bad. They might get a speeding ticket or they had to get a cavity filled or something and they have to include those kinds of things in their budget as well. Um, some will end up going and getting a part-time job to add to that and it's just a good chance to talk to the kids about what it's really going to be like when they get out there in, re in the real world. Well, I work for Henderson, but I'm the college and career coach for Arkadelphia High School. And so my job is to make sure that these students are prepared for life after graduation. Uh, we have four main objectives that we cover with this program, and one of them is financial literacy. And so this came about as a partnership with the credit unions. They provide all of the materials, but we put the two together because we offer this for our college students, but for high school students, this is a eye-opener on why it's so important to be prepared after graduation. It affects uh, every decision that they make after graduation, prior to graduation, is gonna affect their lifestyle and their day-to-day -day life. We have offered this program uh, for the last two years, and we've had a variety of high schools that have participated, and the students, um, they don't realize what parents go through. <laughs> They don't realize what life is really like when their paycheck is not just to cover uh, a cell phone bill or money for basketball games, when they, they have to pay insurance and taxes or they have a flat tire or the car breaks down, like they have to be prepared for those things. So this is kind of to make sure they understand the importance of saving and just being financial literate. I feel like the whole college and career readiness program, the only way a student can really win is if they are educated and they are exposed to things uh, and prepare for them. That's the whole point. I'm going like to school for law, so I'm becoming a de detective. And I realized that like the paychecks that I take home, it like won't cover expensive like the extra entertainment that I need or the pets. So I put off until I got out of school so I could get those things later. Well, everybody thought their profession was cheap and everybody wanted to shop like TJ Maxx, but they're not understanding if you want to be a doctor, you're going to have to dress nice. If you want to be an engineer, you're going to be dressing more nice. They don't understand how expensive clothes are because they aren't really buying their clothes right now, but like this stuff is legit expensive. And I mean, if you want to look nice, you have to dress nice. So I think that was the biggest thing that a lot of them learned. Like we have to buy weekend clothes and we can't wear like our work clothes on the weekend. And I'm like, no, you can't wear scrubs on the weekend. You have to pick and choose. So they had to pick out two of the plans. Um, of course, business was way more formal and way expensive, like 160, but they had to get their clothes dry clean. But I mean, I feel like a lot of them just didn't realize how expensive like it is to dress, so. I think the majority of them came to me last, which is savings, right? So. The goal would be to come to your bank, open up a savings account, put that in first, then go to all the rest of these things. Go then, so take your amount, subtract out what you want to put in your savings accounts, what's left over is what you can spend. It was the opposite. You know, they, they'd come back to me and be like, I have $10 left over and really, you need me doing 10%. So, yeah, it's kind of, it kind of the opposite of what it really needed to be. I think it's a real eye opener for a lot of them on, um, how much things really cost each month. Um, I was doing the table where they were having to choose their utilities and um, you know a lot of them are like the, the cheapest plan is you don't have air conditioning and of course all of them are oh no I can't do that but when they look at the next options up they're like but I can't afford the next options. I think it's a real eye-opener. They're realizing what mom and dad are paying for what they have that they're going to eventually have to pay themselves. Okay, all right. Well, we've got a studio apartment right here on the second floor. It runs about $500 a month. It's a one bedroom, okay? Uh, and it does have, you will need to go to the laundry mat that's on site. So if you have a washer and dryer, it can accommodate that. Okay. So, you, but if you're looking for a place with a washer and dryer, we've got another unit, but it's a full one bedroom unit. Okay. So it just matters what whatever you want. I was an ag manager and 
What really surprised me was how expensive a truck payment was and everything like that, and how expensive it was to have a pit. And that was some of the really surprising things to me. So I went over there and I got a horse. And uh, since I got one in real life, I didn't realize how much they actually cost. So I'm actually saying thank you, Mama. I spun the wheel and I got my truck towed, and that was 300 extra dollars. And housing was pretty expensive too. I didn't expect it to be that expensive either. I had to get a part-time job. I had to get a part-time telemarketer job. Well, I learned that um, it's a lot more expensive um, to go and live on by your own and not have mom and dad helping you out. Everything costs. Uh, whatever you do, it costs. So I never really knew how much that our parents and stuff go through. So kids, appreciate your parents because they go through a lot. Because they have to work hard to have Pay for two cars, a house, and my food, and their food, and everything else like that. Well, I've learned that this is how my parents, what they deal with, and how life is going to be whenever I grow up. And all the bills I'll have to pay, all the things I'll have to buy. And um, I can tell that, I wouldn't say it's a struggle, but it's just something that you got to get used to because it's not always easy. And uh, you just got to have the right job, right mindset to do the right thing, and you'll have a successful life. Be more practical. Don't try to get the best of the best. Just try to do, like live within your means. Don't try to live out of your means and then overwork yourself. Buy the things that you need, not the things that you want. I learned that I'm probably going to have to start saving now and here or pretty soon if I want to be able to have some kind of fund later on in life. I, I got to get this PS4, man. I, I have no choice. Have a, if you don't have a house, you don't have electricity. Who don't have a house? You have to go to... Uh, I got to go get... get I got to get a cell phone? This stuff don't all come with all this? You can't buy a PS4, then buy... You ain't even got your I don't want to grow up me growing, y'all. I don't want to grow up yet. Stay with your mom. I'm going to just stay with my mom. Do you stay with me? What happened to you? Oh, no. How did you lose 300? I'm choking, i that expensive truck that you have? Yeah, well, you gotta have a nice truck. <laughs> so I have you coming out as having spent $2,954. Your budget is $2,861. Um, I learned that um, I'm going to have to eat mac and cheese for a very long time if I want to have some spending money. <laughs> and um, I'm going to have to drive a 2012 Kia Spectra <laughs> if I want to go place to place. Um, I learned that I'm going to be broke for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs>